this is the My Schedule page. Now, I'm looking at it on the desktop and in our handy services mobile app. Now, the reason I'm going to take a, take the time to show you the mobile app is because most of your volunteers, this is the primary way that they will interact with Planning Center Services. As a leader, you're probably going to do lots of stuff on the web. Um, most of that stuff is actually available for you in the app too, but sometimes you're at your computer, you want to use the bigger screen. So that's what most of our training today is going to be. But while I do this tour, I'm going to show you in the app and on the web at the same time. So here's the My Schedule page. This page is available to everyone, all of your team members, and it's kind of like the dashboard where they will land and jump off into all the other places. So the first thing you're going to see is buttons at the top for them to block out dates ahead of time. I'm going to be on vacation. For them to see any messages that you've sent or to email any of the team leaders. So if you click email the team leader on either one of these, you're going to get an option to select which of the, your team leaders you want to email, and then you can send them a message. Next up, sign up sheets. This is a feature that we talk about in our scheduling um, Planning Center University. But if you set up sign up sheets and you allow your people to choose which dates they want to choose, they can sign up for them right here. Next up, pending requests, anything that you have asked them to do that they have not responded to yet. So they can accept or decline or see any of the timing information right from here. And then finally, at the bottom is any of our confirmed requests. And this is what we're really after. Confirm everything. And then this is may, might be the only thing that they see on their schedule page here. And so you can click in to any plan in the schedule and get to its details. Now, you saw when I was showing help that you can link accounts from multiple churches. You'll actually see here, I am logged into Centerville Church, but I've linked a whole bunch of different churches. A lot of these aren't even churches, but um, churches together. So uh, this is one of our common questions. If I serve at multiple churches, why do I have to keep logging out and logging back in? You don't. You can link them together. So just look for linking accounts in our help center. But if you do, from this, I can actually see that this plan is from a different church. Um, but November 6th is from the church I'm logged into now. So when I click or tap on that, it's going to take me into that specific plan.